Hi, this is Matt from Audio Plugin Deals. Just a short video this time on how to install the Tonex expansion collections in case you're having difficulty there. So first up, download and install the IK Multimedia product manager. I imagine most of you already have that installed anyway. And once you open it, it looks like this. Obviously everybody's selection of products will differ, but go down and find Tonex down here, Tonex CS, and then we go install. It's almost two gigs, so it might take a little while based on your internet connection. I'll just fast forward through this, obviously. Now the next step, the actual installation of Tonex is quite straightforward, but I'm just going to cover it off just for completeness. First, choose the location of where you want to install Tonex itself. I personally have mine on D, but you can put yours wherever you want. And then choose which versions you want. I only need VST3, so I'm going to deselect the others. Choose the location of where I want the VST installed. The first one is for VST2, even though it's not selected, but that's fine, just put it in. And then the next one is for VST3. So enter the location where you want it. Again, personal preference. Next. So that's the actual installation of Tonex complete. So click finish and then we're done there. And as you can see in the top right here, it says Tonex installed correctly. So good start. So the next thing we need to do is register our Tonex expansion pack or one of our collections. In this case, I'm installing Metal Gems. So click on register. And now we need to enter the serial number that you would have received when either purchasing the collection or getting it for free from audio plugin deals. It will most likely be in a confirmation mail. So paste that in. Obviously I'm going to blur this so you don't have my serial number. I have two codes here and they both start with T0184. So I assume yours will also. The rest obviously is unique. And then click on register. And then we are done there. So close there. And now we can see Tonex CS, one out of five devices authorized. And the most important bit, if we click collections down here, we can see we now have Tonex collection metal gems. Once again, my serial is blurred there. The next thing we need to do is go into tone.net. And just to clarify that, it is tone.net. It is not the IK Multimedia website. There we go, login up top right. And then you enter with your IK Multimedia account details. So just to clarify that, it is tone.net is completely separate to the IK Multimedia website, a different URL. However, to log in, you do use your IK Multimedia username and password. So I've obviously blurred mine, and then we'll go log in. Then if we go down to the bottom here to collections, all collections, you can see the second one here, Metal Gems. There is a big green tick saying this is registered to my account, to my Tonex account. And that registration was picked up by the product manager. So the product manager automatically feeds into the tone.net website. Next, the final step, open up the open up your door or the standalone version, should you prefer. Just adding a audio track for now. So then we can add Tonex down here. And then it looks like this. Now if we go over to the right here to the three lines, click here. It should automatically have identified your tone.net account and logged you in. Then if we do restore purchases, also this part here when it's trying to find your account or when it's restoring your collections, it might take quite a long time. I, I have no issues with my internet here and yet this still took about 10 or 15 minutes. So all I can say is just be patient with it. But once you're up and running, then it's perfectly fine. It, it only needs to do this initially. So that's that bit done and then we should be okay now. Let's have a look. Let's go to owned collections over to the left here, signature, Metal Gems, boom, we're there. All installed. So the video length now prior to editing is 35 minutes. So that's how long it took from start to finish to install. Just as a ballpark guide to what to expect. So I hope that helps and see you next time. Bye bye.